When you think about it, climbing a mountain is inherently a really stupid idea. Like, yeah, okay, let's drive for a day, load up our heavy backpacks, climb up thousands of feet in powdery snow, and then just drive home. Last time we did this, we couldn't find a place to park, slept in the car, ran out of water, and I threw up about six times at an altitude of 12,000 feet. I know what you're thinking. It sounds like a waste of vacation days, but I wouldn't trade these trips for anything in the world. At the time of recording this, I've just finished up my sophomore year of college, and I'm trying to figure out what's next. I spent most of my life dreaming of becoming a civil engineer, but then decided earlier this year that it probably wasn't the best fit for me. I moved to Seattle, took my classes, worked some jobs, but I'm still struggling to find out what exactly it is I want to do with my life. I guess you could say I'm taking the Thomas Edison approach, sort of finding a thousand things I don't want to do as I slowly figure out what it is I want and how to get to wherever the heck it is I'm supposed to be. But this trip symbolized a rare opportunity to forget all about that, ditch the everyday worries, and just do what makes me tick. We left our homes with one goal, to summit Mount St. Helens. We didn't look for a campsite beforehand, we didn't plan out a route in advance, we just packed our bags, checked the avalanche warnings, and took off. You see, mountaineering is my therapy. For a few short days, I'm allowed to forget about my fears, my struggles, and everything else holding me back in the world. If you've never climbed, you wouldn't understand, but there's an overwhelming feeling of personal achievement, a sort of mental cleansing that comes from a climb like this. It's one of my favorite things in the world. Like my flannel, my jeans, and my socks and sandals. That's good. This I do like fashion. that. <laughs> like any good road trip, we stop at a gas station to get the usual goods, but my camera attracted much more attention than anticipated. Some people thought it was cool. Are you recording something? Yeah, he is. We're making a movie. How you doing, guys? <laughs> we're doing good. Peace. So we're actually on a road trip right now. We're oh! Going, yeah, we're going up to Mount St. Helens. Oh, okay, good luck. Okay, yeah, guys. thank you. Others found it amusing. Sounds documentary. Yeah. <laughs> but after fueling up with some hearty helpings of liquid cheese and some less than sufficient coffee, we were ready for our adventure. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. You would come up with like documentary, huh? I know. Literally, like five people in the gas station just came up to us. That's ridiculous. No, literally, we couldn't, I couldn't even look around the store because everyone's like, oh, travel documentary. Oh, what are you filming for? Yeah, where are you guys from? Uh, where are you guys from? Literally the greatest conversation starter of all time. Good. Well, it is. I mean, look at this thing. Here, it's pretty This, I like the colors. Hello. Hi. Hi, can I get a small fry and a double cheeseburger? We're getting there. That yeah, really would not be ideal if I forgot my boots. But they're there, I'm gonna do the map. Part of a balanced breakfast. Got that right, son. It's so good. No, for once, I actually want to get a good idea of where we're going and how long don't it'll don't take. Do that. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. Where are we? That must be the lava dome you're referring to. There's Mount St. Helens. There's Lava Canyon. That's where we want to climb from. But where the oh. heck are we? This doesn't really help us. Don't forget, little animals. Some unaware humans will attempt to feed you food that is hazardous to your health. Be depending on people for food. You and your buddies forget to forage for natural food and you starve to death in the cold. Oh no. It's a Joski in his natural habitat. Alright, just arrived, heading to the ape caves. <laughs> there, was, there was a good chance I was gonna eat it there. How close is that on my face? Do I look good? Is there chips of in my teeth? Trick question, I know there is. Hi. 
I was not going to do that. We're going where no car has gone before. See, I kind of do wish I had the crampons now. You look like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> we are. So look, you're in frame. Hola. Hello, Mr. YouTuber. How cringe are you going to make that? Hola. Hello, Mr. YouTuber. That's my new intro. That may or may not be where we're going. I'm really sinking in. I do have to go pee. I had to go pee back there. I just forgot. How do you forget? You went in. And that made you forget? I wanted to go. No, you know. give me that. Wait, is that also a bathroom? Just go here before you forget on the way. again. I think it's all like this. I'm kind of annoying. You better hope this one's unlocked. I'm about to smack you in the face with a little Honestly, it's like you're the famous YouTuber. I'm just filming you. That is very true. Actually, Here's a glove. You said you forgot gloves. Okay. So All right, so we may or may not be on the right trail. Oh, here we go. We think we found the 8Ks, but it was closed off for parking, so we just oh, hiked gosh. about a mile. I'm dying. I'm just kidding. I'm not actually dying. See this? It's a sign of the apes. We're at the ape caves. <laughs> oh, dude, you look so cool in the blue light. Like, okay, wait, I'll flip the screen. You ready? Whoa. <laughs> dude, we're on an exploration. I was gonna say, we're like searching for uh, ghosts. The first stop of the trip was some lava tubes called the Ape Caves. There was too much snow to drive to the parking lot, so we had to hike to the entrance. The tunnel was just under a mile long and was pitch black the entire way. Well, that's interesting. Did the blue light help her? No. Uh, it just kind of ended up in my bag. It's kind of a <laughs> It's not the best tool for the job. Okay. A little bright, that's for sure. You look like a smart. Oh, it looks good with both lights. Well, we made it. Oh my, you look so creepy with the with the under. Oh my gosh, wait, wait. Okay, hold up. Look at the side. I think it is the end. Is. Yeah, these are soaked. <laughs> I think we made it, boys. <laughs> here, stand here. I'm gonna try and get a picture of you. All right. Uh, we gotta trade spots. We're solid. Stay there. It was late in the afternoon by the time we finished exploring the caves, so we decided it was probably a good idea to find a campsite in the trailhead before dark, knowing we'd have to get up extremely early the next day. The crotch hold's good. Look at that angle. Oh, look, there's all these water droplets on the screen. I'm just gonna smear them. It's getting shaky. I lost my beat. All right, the first campsite we got to closed so we're looking for another one all right currently we're backing up because we just found the mountain back around the corner this is your driver's test jeez it doesn't look big on here but that's massive Gate ahead, oh. is that what it said oh but that's like closed uh oh it does say closed are you kidding no me? way all right let's get up here though there might be <laughs> 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 we're not hiking on Adam. Oh, well, no, we're not doing Adam. We're not doing Adam. We're not doing Adam. I'm not sure if I'm laughing at us or just. <laughs> road closed to vehicles. I wonder why. Look at the road. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, now what the hell do we do? <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, I wish there was like a ranger. I'm not so telling my mom this. So four, it's four yeah, miles. Every time my dad told me, are you sure it's open? I know it's open. <laughs> it's four miles. We're not walking up that. No, I know, but I think there's other routes we could take. After spending the entire day driving to Mount St. Helens, we were stopped five miles from the trailhead by a huge heaping wall of snow. It was clear we weren't going to be able to summit from this location, so we decided to look for another approach. It's about five miles through this to get to the base of the hike, so we're going to have to find a new approach. <laughs> they didn't need any, 
any help to say I'm not doing this. I know. It's like, nope, we're done. No. Someone else completely turned around when they saw that. They're just like, we're done. We're going home, kids. No yeah. climb today. But we're not like other people. <laughs> well, <laughs> I know. That's for sure. Exactly. Uh, and the journey continues. I'm going to have to get out. I'm just zooming with the camera. It doesn't work that way. This may or may not be where we self-issue permits. What does this say? So we're we're currently there. We need to get there. Don't know. I don't know how we do that. That thing didn't help at all, so. There's a building over there. We can head that way. Alright. We may be screwed, Josie. So it says it's through here. This is our this is our second trailhead we're trying to get to. We do not have the vehicle for this. This is a snow park. This is made for snowmobiles. This is not okay. How you get so there. maybe not, this isn't supposed to be plowed. Right. But I'm thinking. So I guess we will try up there. But it, there should be a way up, right? You would hope so. So this is definitely not the way up. Unless so whatever I've punched up in. The top of the mountain and went down. I don't think everyone's doing that. We will find a way up this mountain, probably. It's not look God. good. <laughs> this does not look good. Oh wait, this is still the snow part. This is this just wraps around. This is not it either. Oh shit! I know how we're getting through the snow. <laughs> That's a snow cat. That thing will make it do anything. Well, wait. I think we just keep following this thing. Well, this is wraps around. Well. Either way, keep following it. There is a trailhead over here, but I don't know what it goes to. We don't know where anything goes. And also, if this is it, then we don't have a camping spot. Unless we're camping One here. problem at a time. All right, just got a fresh battery. We may have found winter permits. Woohoo! No one's here. So, no campsite, but I think, is this the route? People gone up today. What's the date? 325. Is that the last one to register? It's like the 27th. But I think we're good. I have my phone on again. Dude, let's go. Let's go. Dude, the hype is real. We found it. We got the permits. And see? See, look at this. Pass not required. I like how I like how the parking is too. It's literally like nobody. So camping we need to figure out. I'm gonna head. A little this way. I just want to see what these signs say. Dude, I'm honestly, I was getting really worried that we this would be a little harder than we thought. So thankfully, with a little bit of luck, a little bit of determination, and some help from a spotty internet connection, we eventually found a place to climb from. We'd initially gone to the summer trailhead, but what we needed was the winter one. With the trailhead located, now we just needed to find a place to camp for the night. Yeah, let's split up and look for clues. This doesn't look open. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Wait, it's just like literally a. Well, we're, we're eating lunch here. Oh, someone already gave it. Taco Bell? Where the hell did they get Taco Bell from? Okay, here's the thing. If it's an RV park, all we really need is a place for a fire, maybe, you know? It says overnight car RV camping permit. Permitted? Oh! Permitted. I permitted. Not permitted. So, in any case, we can car camp here. Right, and that's fine. I mean, if we had to sleep out here, I don't think we'd like the other camp right here. Yeah. It's obviously not very... It's not ideal. I think we'll be able to do a climb from here. <laughs> you know? At the very least, I'll like, well, I guess they're on reception, but I mean, there are the permits. We should be able to, we should be able to make the ascent from here. Camping may not be as ideal. I feel like there's gotta be like at least a fire pit somewhere. I mean, it is an RV park, so what do I know? But I feel like there's gotta be, there's gotta be something we can use. All right, so found the trailhead. We do not have a place to stay, luckily. I know a camp counselor up here and I build a hook us up. Just kidding, it's just a random oh it's ringing. It's 6 p.m. I don't know if anyone will answer. 
Come to think of it, I'd be surprised if someone did answer. You never know. Okay, so it said we could email them. It is 6 p.m. We we're looking for a place to stay in two hours. Not ideal, but I think we can reserve something on the website. I don't know if it's open, but if it lets me reserve something, unless the site's really poorly made. If I go to campsites and cabins. They, okay, so they have campsites. Check in on 328 one night. Campsite is available. Campsite. How far away is this campsite? That's what I was going to look up next. So it says $15 a night. That's fine at this point. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cabins are $70 a night, which isn't bad. Wait, no, they're 60 right now. No way. But do you think anyone's there? I don't know if we do could we get one. cash for that? Oh, I gave you 80 Okay, so it looks like I should build a reserve. It says all these days are full, but the 28th is open. Let me see how far away Eagle if we Cliff could get a cabin, that would Campground. Be so cool. Cabin would be cool. Would be and see, that's one of those things, like, like I'm telling you, when you don't plan. Like, we haven't had it totally shit out on us before, <laughs> you know? It's 32 minutes. Okay, I mean, it seems to be open. Let's do it. Let's just... Just wing it? Let's do it. Cabin There's a there store some... which should be open. We're getting, we're going there. I don't really care. All right, let's just go. Let's just go. <laughs> let's just go. With the sun setting, we were desperate for a place to stay for the night. We can always set up our tent in the parking lot of the trailhead, but after sleeping in the car before our Mount Adams summit last summer, we were really hoping to get a good night's sleep, if at all possible. Alright. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. I was going to say some cool stuff. Oh, my bad. The real <laughs> adventure begins now. <laughs> You're but much cooler than mine. <laughs> we just passed a deer. Yeah. Eyes on the road. Alright, we're just rounding the corner. No camping. Wait, is that actually what it said? <laughs> no. Are you kidding me? Go back. You're kidding me. It's said online we could reserve. What happens if I reserved? Look, this is the cliff park. Oh, it's probably this. It's probably there. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. So right it here. Over over. Yeah. But they have a camping area. Okay. Don't don't scare me like that. I'd say there's a better than 50% chance we don't get a camp here. Oh, wait, hold up. Is this a yeah. store? A pizza place. No, that's it, definitely not open. It does not look open. This literally looks like a ghost town. That would be the general store we're looking for. This is the cabins. Drive over to the general store. It says that is most definitely closed. Oh, wait, there's signs. Let's go read. Always read the signs. If the store is closed and you need assistance. I mean, it looks like this a ghost one. town. It's gotta be this one, the biggest There's one. still a, I think there's still a chance we get one of these. I just don't think it's busy. Wait, seriously, what did no, it say like, again? Come to the caretaker's cabin. This is the slight. caretaker? <laughs> Dude, this is like, this is like a ghost oh, town. So in the end, we ended up finding a place to stay, and just in time, I might add. One could argue that we could have just planned out our trip from the beginning, but I found that structure is the last thing I want on a trip. When everything goes according to plan, it's too comfortable. I'll find myself lounging around, reaching for my phone, and missing out on a rare chance to escape reality for a little bit. I found that the best way to escape that routine is to roll the dice as much as possible. We pack food, clothing, everything to stay safe, but the immersion from a real adventure, the thrill of not knowing what you'll be doing or where you'll be doing it, is something I never experienced growing up with family vacations. It's a feeling I'll cherish for the rest of my life. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was too busy in the most elite five-star cabin. This is not focusing on my face. Elite five-star cabin in the middle of nowhere we found on a complete whim. Dude, I'm, my mind has never been this bottled. And I don't think I've ever even said that before until today. This has worked out so well. We had like three campsites not work out. Our original trailhead was completely covered in snow. There was no way to access it. But we found a new trailhead. We found this cabin. $60 a night, which is like absurd. It's like fully furnished. And, oh, it's just, are you peeing right now? <laughs> <laughs> I was literally talking to the camera and I just hear like tinkling. It was surprisingly loud. <laughs> hey Mason, yep. I call this Mount St. Helens. Oh my God. <laughs>
<laughs> I just thought of it as I was doing it. See, this is the lava coming down. Mount St. Helens. <laughs> That's the disgrace to food I've ever it's seen. The Mount St. Helens. That's kind of romantic. <laughs> you want to get your ass kicked? <laughs> Especially with this on the table. Just like... <laughs> okay, is this rolling even? Tonight, I conquered Mount St. Helens. Tomorrow, I'm conquering Mount St. Helens again. Was that cheesy? I swear this guy's a dad. He has so much dad jokes up his butt. I think that was good. Alright, dinner was good. It turns out the sky is clear. So I'm gonna try to do a little astrophotography. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't. Mason, how was dinner? Pretty good. That's probably the best dinner we've had camping in a long time. We've had some pretty bad dinners camping. <laughs> We'll see if this works. We're going to see if we can maybe get pics of the mountain. This could not look creepier. It's cloudy. Odds are not good, but we're going to risk it for the biscuit and just see what happens. Let's <laughs> light some torches. I have to say, I'm kind of enjoying the, uh, the heat lamp lantern chats with the camera so the night shots did not work out but we're getting packed up we're gonna hit the mountain early tomorrow should be a good time so it's like 10 30 at night plan is to get up at 5 30 alarms are set we're gonna eat a hearty breakfast and then we're gonna climb any last words it's not scary when I say it like that. It wasn't scary to begin with. This is amateur hour. I'm glad I have that recorded. I hope it's really <laughs> hard now. I hope it's really hard. All right. Good night. It's currently 5.35 in the morning. I just lost my phone. But we're going to make pancakes. And uh, oh, there it is. Some coffee. And then we're going to hit the road. So the night before, we both agreed to get up extra early and make a big breakfast for the morning of the climb. Even after I tossed last night's dinner at him, Mason refused to roll out of bed, leaving me to cook and clean alone. I'm using all four burners, baby. Oh my gosh, what the? I might have just started a mini fire. There's a chance the smoke detectors are going off. I've gotta do everything myself around here. It'd be great to have someone to help me out. It looks like you need to hire a cook. I do need to hire a cook. My cook won't come to the kitchen. I demand 15 an hour. For what? You're just laying in bed. Check these bad boys out. Get a little bit of this. Get a whole lot of that. And have a fuel for success. Is it though? Where's it? Added weight for <sighs> failure. <laughs> you need energy. I'm trying to pay you a couple times. Oh my gosh, I hope should hire me. Wait, that bad? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I had a camera on for that one. These are probably close to the worst pancakes I've ever made. The only reason they taste like pancakes is because I know they're pancakes. Because I made them with my own two hands. Mm. It's just starting to get light out. We have someone else leaving the same area we are. We're going to try and catch them at the trailhead. If they are going to the same show. If they are, but why else would they be up at this time ready to rock and roll? No reception for me. It's literally a 50-50 shot. I have no idea which way it is. I want to say it's left. Yeah? Let's just drive left. and Ideally, I'll get reception in like five minutes. I want to say it's left. We may have a signal. It's taking a full minute to load. Mason is having the breakfast of champions. The Chips Ahoy. Oh, yeah. Once my phone had finally loaded, we confirmed we were on the right track and were only a little behind schedule. It's tough to describe the rush of emotions you get before a climb like this. It's a mix of excitement, anxiety, and everything in between. While at college, I'd definitely been slacking on my workout routine, which added to the already abundant amount of butterflies in my stomach, but I had no intention of letting that stop me from conquering the mountain. All right, we're on the right road. <laughs> Marble Mountain's about six miles away, which should have our trailhead. 
This is what you drink before a hike, so you get that good old energy crash about halfway through the mountain. Oh yeah. That guy's backpacking though. You see his pack? Yeah, they all so, pretty good. Someone else camped here. Oh. We literally could have done that. Yeah. Let's hit it. Do you want to this is your coffee. It's Mine. a set. <laughs> Lather up, my man. Starting our climb at 7.45 a.m. Feels good to be back on the trails, does it not? <laughs> I think I just realized I forgot my crampon at home. Just kidding. <laughs> no, we're just good. Kidding. We're good. The climb started off relatively easy, with Mason and myself only taking breaks to remove clothing due to heat rather than physical exhaustion. It wasn't until we scaped the initial tree line that things started to pick up a little bit. The common theme we've seen in our first two climbs, we are the youngest ones here, without a doubt. I mean, we're not even just saying that, like, it seems like everyone else is like 30, Maybe not 30, but they're not 19. <laughs> Mid 30s, if not 40s. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. How's the lighting on my face? Oh, in a word, a golden. It's so good. Let's keep going. Is the arrow facing that way? Yes. We're in flows. I know, but like the arrow's like crossed out. You see? Oh, I don't they fixed it. <laughs> We're good. I'm telling you, you're worrying too much. Now, if we look back and the guys behind us go the other way, then we'll have an issue. <laughs> it is five million degrees when you're climbing. We're stripping down. Oh, I think I might just tie it around my waist. It's a little pit stop before we get going again. I think it's technically freezing here, but <laughs> we're hot. Oh, hazards on the trails. Let's see you get past this one. Oh, I'm done. Oh, it really doesn't look that far. <laughs> you want to say that a little louder? I'll turn on the camera. Camera doesn't do it justice. It really doesn't look that far all the way up. Well, you'll see. My butt is so sweaty right now. I'm just see? following you. I mean, I see what you see. We can go up. I just think it's I just remember what happened last time we went off a trail. That was your fall. Oh, oh my. My legs suck. <laughs> no, but it, it went like two feet down. <laughs> we decided to play it smart, cramp on up. Gotta break these bad boys in and hopefully not break them. There are some of the cheaper ones on Amazon. This is gonna be hella easy. <laughs> I'm betting that is not the summit. Mason thinks it is. My logic is it's 4,000 feet shorter than Mount Adams. So, if that's the fall summer of Mount Adams, I would say that's about 8,000 feet. That's, it was 8,900 if I remember correctly, the fall summit of Mount Adams, which is about right to me. So, I think that's the summit, but could be wrong. Right. All you ladies out there watching, this is for you. Check out the sweats. We're in the same sweatpants. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to take my shoes off. You have shorts? What, underneath this? Yeah. No. But I do have a long jacket. Oh, I have to say. I'm feeling it a little bit, but I'll be good. Oh, it feels real cold right now. <laughs>
my mind is just boggled by these views. I have to say, one of the most incredible things about climbing a mountain is always the payoff. Like you literally see things you just can't see doing anything else. Like no hike is gonna get you views above the mountains. Like you're looking down on some of the clouds, it's insane. You thinking right here, Josty? Yeah, cool with me. Oh, I'm not in frame, but we're taking our first real break with the Powerades and the Belvita. Gotta get those electrolytes. Please never say it like that ever again. All right, took a little break, let some of the skiers get ahead, and uh, it's getting a little chilly, but I think we're gonna get going fast. again. We're going hella fast. Oh, it's snowing. Look up. We're definitely getting snowed on. I'm still warm though. That's good. Gotta do the low squat. Oh, we're at the, what is this? Radio telecom panel. We're at the radium telecom panel. Radio. It's snowing. I'm still in short sleeves. And we got a ways to go, it looks like. Uh, it's kind of crazy we're getting snowed on. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but pretty cool. We're literally above this cloud. Not that one. And that cloud. Not the ones those behind clouds. us. We're at the clouds. Not those clouds, but we're, we're in the thick of the clouds. I'm saying I either got a little bit less fat, you got more fat, or this mountain's just equally for both of us. If I had to guess, we were probably around two thirds of the way up at this point. And let me tell you, the first two thirds was significantly easier than the last third. While it looks like we're relatively close, what you're seeing is actually a false summit meaning it was the highest visible point at our current altitude. It was impossible to know how far we had left to go until we reached that point. Oh, yeah. No, I started with like a jacket, like a long sleeve underneath, and every like 30 minutes I was like, I gotta strip. Okay. It just kept getting hotter. Yeah, I'm only leaving clothes on for sun protection. Yeah. I'd be in a t-shirt right now if I wasn't yeah. getting burnt. Yeah. I am gonna be a bit of a tomato. Back to the long sleeves. I was talking to some guy, and he's like, "Yeah, only reason I haven't stripped down is to avoid sunburn." And then I realized my arms were turning red, so <laughs> switched back. Just gonna keep on keeping on. You can't see anything this way. So much mist. <sighs> we're just getting like somewhere between 20 and 30 steps before I gotta take a quick break. I can hear my heart beating like. It just feels like it's right in my ears. My heart rate is so high right now. Alright boys, that's the top. This is what dreams are made of. Wow. Let me knuckles. So 
So in the end, on March 29th, 2019, we made our first ascent up Mount St. Helens. No one forced us to do it. There wasn't a trophy or prize for making it to the top. We simply set a goal for the two of us, and we put ourselves through the ringer to achieve it. And it's under these circumstances that I found I always perform best. Whether it was with skateboarding, running track, studying, making videos, or in this case climbing mountains, I've never cared about impressing others. You see, the one person whose opinion I care about most, and the one who I always seem to have the most trouble impressing, is myself. So whenever I meet a goal like this, I can't help but smile. The view from the summit was supposed to be incredible, but unfortunately neither Mason nor myself can vouch for that. As soon as we reached the top, the light snowfall had turned into hail, and within minutes had evolved into a snowstorm. We'd only been up there for roughly 10 minutes before we agreed we needed to get down. The views are definitely not as good as I was hoping. Alright. Oh, that's my, that's my phone making sound. I'm going to turn this off. We're making our descent. It's hailing. Looks like we made it just in time. Oh, oh you my know, gosh. You know how pissed off I would be if I got up like right here and I couldn't see the top of the mountain? Right yeah, there. no, that'd be scary. I got, I think, one time lapse and one pan. And I don't think sure is, but I mean, <laughs> nothing you can do about it, you know. This was when we had to go. Typically, we would have glissaded down the mountain at this point in the climb. If you don't know what that is, it's where you slide down the mountain on your butt, using an ice axe as a rudder to break and steer. But in the blizzard-like conditions, we knew it wouldn't be safe to do so with such little visibility. So we simply trudged down the mountain while giving directions to other climbers. Have a safe climb. Which trail did you guys come up? Okay. Did you take a... We noticed there was like a ski and a boot trail. Yeah. Which one did you guys come up? Uh, for... Okay. It's really easy to veer to the left here, so watch it. Okay. Visibility? No. You'll get to the summit and it's not the view you probably wanted. When we got to it, probably 30 minutes ago, it was like just starting to disappear. I want to say an hour. I might be overstating though. We could not have summited a half hour later or it would have been impossible to find our way. People are considering turning back or waiting it out. Sometimes things just work out for us. Whew. So I guess we just keep going this way. So yeah, I mean, I don't know how, I don't even know how far we are down to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't know. We could be halfway down. I don't think we are. We're not. Yeah. I think these look like tracks. I mean, these have to be tracks because look everywhere else. It's smooth. I mean, that's our best bet. Oh, look at that. So it's starting to clear up. There's a chance we're going to try and glissade up here since we can actually see in front of our faces. That's if Josh stopped crying. He's been crying quite a bit this trip. <laughs> I'm tired of it. Hey, uh, how deep is the snow here? <laughs> All right, I'll try it somewhere else. Okay, we'll do it there. Okay, ready? Hey, how deep is the snow here? <laughs> that was kind of even better because it's delayed. <laughs> this is my ticket out of here. That is extremely small. I'm not extremely. It's smaller than I thought. Is that even gonna go up your butt? Well, that's why I'm gonna have to stick my feet through. I'm gonna have to do the diaper. He's doing the diaper. Oof. I'll see you at the bottom. It has already gone all the way up your leg, hasn't it? <laughs> this is a failed experiment. See you at the bottom, sucker. How much do you guys want to bet I can walk faster than he can slide down the hill? <laughs> I figured it out! He did it! He looks like... Oh wait, hold up. Yours actually looks like pants. Mine's like a kilt. No, that's what I did. Oh, I tied mine. 
Oh. See, I've got Why the I've got the loincloth now. You can fly, my guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, our ice axes were going. So I don't know if you caught that or not, but remember when I thought my phone was buzzing during the storm? Alright. Oh, that's my that's my phone making sound. I'm going to turn this off. We're making our descent. It's hailing. Well, after I turned my phone off, we noticed our ice axes were making the exact same sound. It turns out the buzzing was static electricity buildup from metal objects being so close to the clouds. I honestly couldn't tell you if we were close to being electrocuted or not, but Mason and I were both glad we didn't stick around on the summit to find out. We've re-engineered the diapers. It looks it's like it's working. We found another shoot. Oh, he shoots! He scores! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Our new engineering strategy is working! We'll see if we can make up for the lost time of making these. You never know, Geronimo! Woohoo! It's funny, I still don't know where the heck I'm going, and don't even get me started on how long it'll take me to get there. But I've got this gut feeling that if I keep pushing a little harder, hold on just a little longer, I'll find my way soon enough. In the words of one of my favorite creators, Cody Warner, it's sort of like I'm waiting for my own surprise party. I don't know when exactly it's coming, and I might think it's happening and then be wrong, but I feel like if I just keep persevering, one day everything's gonna click, you know? All the pieces are gonna fall into place, people will congratulate me, my parents won't have to worry about me anymore, life's just gonna work itself out. It's like climbing a mountain. You don't know how long it's gonna take, and for most of the climb you can't see the finish line, but at some point, sure enough, if you keep moving forward you'll get there. The raw feeling of adventure, the opportunity to travel, document, and create digital content for the world is one of the few things that really moves me right now, and something inside me says that's a trail worth following.